So we're gonna zip through some mini hoods today here in Toronto's East End, starting with Blake Street here. This is a metro housing complex in Toronto's East End. It's a really small neighborhood consisting of this one townhouse complex and apartment building. There's a dude with a purse. Now this neighborhood is known for street gang activity, drug dealing, shootings. It has its fair share of nasty crime. But it's so strange to me. These neighborhoods are never that dirty. The properties are well kept. It looks like there's been some aesthetic work on these townhouse complexes. They seem to have new windows and new dividers. Everything in the neighborhood is functional. It just doesn't make sense, the level of crime that comes out of these small neighborhoods. They are by no means ghetto, but they are, in fact, crime pockets. Again, it's just a very small Metro Toronto housing complex. It is a public housing project. This is the other side of the street. That's a strange housing complex right there. Okay, here we are in Chinatown East, and this is Broadview, south of Girard. And I found this complex called 275 Broadview. And it looks like a housing project from the outside. And I figured it was high crime because a lot of these units have bars on the windows. But I actually found out it's just a condominium complex. Just an old, ugly townhouse condominium complex. Most people here own these units and some rent. The demographic here is mainly Chinese. So much so that... So much so that every sign is written in both English and Chinese, practically. Chinatown East is a lesser known Chinatown district in Toronto. Everyone is more familiar with Chinatown over by Spadina and Dundas.
However, there is a strong, vibrant Chinese community on the east end of Toronto as well. Some say it's more authentic. Next, we have the Spruce Court Co-op. Now, according to this plaque, if I read it correctly, this was Toronto's first public housing project. And in 1978, it was turned over to its tenants. And it became a housing cooperative and has been ever since. It's just north of the infamous Regent Park housing projects but seems to enjoy a higher quality of life and low crime. It's over a hundred years old, built in 1913, and it is a beautiful complex.
I feel that the Toronto housing cooperative models are superior to that of the Toronto public housing project models. Perhaps that should be looked into. Street Housing Cooperative. This is directly across the street from the infamous Regent Park housing projects. I'm not sure if Regent Park people include this neighborhood as part of their own. neighborhood seems to be very progressive. This neighborhood consisted of one apartment building and one townhouse complex. So there you have it folks, four neighborhoods. One condominium complex, one metro housing complex, and two cooperative housing complexes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.